and from a speed record on two wheels to one involving four. The Bloodhound supersonic car is hoping to break the world land speed record. The challenge has inspired school children to make their own model rocket cars. And today their building skills were put to the test. At a playground in Plymouth, pupils lined up their vehicles for a race to see which one was the fastest. Spotlight's John Danks was there. Right, are we ready then? Yeah! Post and load them from three. Forget the Bunsen burner. This is rocket science. We've had schools that have been given some basic materials, some foam blocks and some uh, wheels and some axles to put together design over several weeks and then come and compete with rockets in them um, to launch across the playground and see so you can get the fastest speed. The cars run along a piece of wire, each one fitted with a BBC microbit computer to help measure its speed. The army, some of whose engineers are working on the Bloodhound SSC, were on hand to set them off. The cars are propelled by rockets, so mini fireworks, and basically we fire them off using the rockets, and then once the rockets burn out, we record the car's time. Two, two, seven. They're really good times today, uh, so I think our fastest car was 76 mile an hour. And excitement levels were well into the red. That's two to one odds on that, mate. That's, gonna, that's a winner that straight away. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll do well. well. Yeah, well. Yeah, it might go wrong. I enjoyed making it and stuff, and it was fun watching it. Um, we tried shaping it in a way where the um, air would just flow over it so it wouldn't hold it back. How were you feeling when they were about to set it off? Is it going to work? <laughs> and did it work? Yeah. So the next round is down at Newquay Airport um, in a couple of weeks. Um, they'll be trying to get the cars to uh, compete against other schools from the southwest. If they get through that, they'll then be moving on to the national finals, which is at Santa Pod. And if they win that, they then get to go to South Africa, where the Bloodhound car is actually going to be racing, at, uh, hopefully to beat 1,000 miles an hour. And that will require some proper ear protection. John Danks, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth. That looked like great fun, didn't it? It reminds me of you leaving the car park. Isn't it? <laughs> Much the same. Cheeky, it's not true. No, it's not just... I'll get you later. It's not this, those children in Plymouth getting excited about science. People all over the country have been throwing themselves into science projects. If you'd like to, a little help with getting started, the BBC's terrific scientific web pages have all you need to pique your interest. Let's race across to the weather and see what's happening this weekend. Here's David. Justin Victoria, try not to thump him while I'm doing the broadcast. <laughs> right. If I hear a yelp, I know what's going on.